dysphoria. When I use bathrooms, I feel discomfort with dysphoria. When people misgender me because they don't ask for pronouns. Dysphoria. When people make insensitive jokes about my transition and ask inappropriate questions. Dysphoria. When I don't come out due to fear and feeling unsafe, hence do not correct people when I get misgendered. Dysphoria. When I intentionally lie about my gender at times because I'm not legally recognized as male yet. Confusion. When I feel like rubbish out of nowhere, but cannot comprehend what's going on in my subconscious, I only know it's linked to the fact I'm trans. Confusion. When dysphoria is both a friend and an enemy. Fear. When I feel obligated to come out to people I know as trans, otherwise they will forever assume I am cisgender. Fear. When there are uncertainties associated with medical transition. Fear. When I am unsure of how one will respond when they learn that I am trans. Sadness. When I don't have equal rights as cisgender people. Sadness. When some people in society treat trans humans as less than human. Sadness. When I know that trans and gender diverse humans experience higher rates of depression, anxiety, and suicide compared to the LGBT population. Grateful for the friends who are still with me even after I came out as trans. Grateful for the support of cisgender and trans allies. Excitement for what the future brings on my journey. Excitement for the people I will work together with to continue creating positive change in the LGBTIQ plus area. Euphoria when I am perceived as the gender I am. Euphoria when I find a safe and non-judgmental community who understands me. Euphoria when allies understand the importance of pronouns and ask me without me having to raise the topic. Euphoria. Recognizing aspects of myself that I love. Euphoria. When I am able to live my truth, I am our train.